Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. So, as you can see, today I'm not in the studio. I'm at a particular place within Kilifi County. So today, earlier today, there was a drama in Parliament between Milio Diambo, Kimani Chungwa, and Gladys Bosholei. I want to say therefore, Madam Speaker, that when we are moving at supersonic speed, and we are not giving members a chance to prosecute order, their own amendment, but I'm on, a, I'm on a point of order. How can you overrule my point of order? Oh, we no longer we no longer have we no longer have roots in this house. If I'm on a point of order, if I'm on a point of order, you do not overrule my point of order, you Madam have Speaker. Your point of order, I yeah, but that that you should not then allow him to stand while I'm still standing. It's unprocedural, Madam Speaker. Be very fair. It's very unprocedural. Okay, I will Bili, sit down and I follow statement. the rules, but I sit down when you tell me my time is done. But it doesn't stand when I'm standing, whether it's majority leader or a heavenly leader. And Milio Diambo rose up and raised very, very serious issues. Issues which border around the facts or border around the narrative that the National Assembly has always been conforming to only the agendas of the Kenya Kwanza uh, uh, faction. So Milio Diambo had a, an amendment, two amendment clauses, which she had uh, introduced to the, to the uh, National Assembly. But according to Milio Diambo, she says that these amendments were ignored. So she raised some grave issues saying that it looks or it appears as if the House is only listening to the majority side and not the minority side. This issue, we addressed it or we brought it into uh, attention of our, uh, of our viewers here sometimes ago when we were talking about why Speaker Moses Wetangula is different from the former Speaker who used to serve under the Grand Coalition government, talking about Kenneth Marendri. So in this scenario today, there was some kind of back and forth between Milio Diambo and Gladys Bosholoi and Milio Diambo and Kimani Chungwa. But from the way I look at things, it is as if the people within Kenya Kwanza know Milio Diambo quite perfectly well. And that's why they were very, very calculated on how they engage her. In fact, Throughout that session, the only thing I heard was that order. That is what Kimani Chungwa tried to say. But then also, on the part of Gladys Bosholei, you can say that Gladys Bosholei allowed uh, Kimani Chungwa to stand up at this time when uh, Milio Diambo was still standing up and uh, uh, sub uh, providing his, uh, her submissions. So that is what Milio Diambo found that it was pretty belittling because how comes Kimani Chungwa is standing up? She even went to an extent of, saying, extent of saying that you're not even the heavenly leader. So I want to get you up to speed with that narrative because there is something I'd like us to address. But first of all, I want you to listen to this video. I'm on a point of order. How can you overrule my point of order? Oh, we, no longer, we, no longer have, we no longer have roots in this house. If I'm on a point of order, if I'm on a point of order, you do not overrule. I'm tired from uh, Honorable Emilio Diambo who has her own issues, which have nothing to do with the house or the leader of majority. She can deal with her issues at home, not here. Madam Speaker, there is a, a growing trend which is very dangerous in this house. We know that we have a majority in the house, as has been proven even by the eyes. We know we have a minority. But the practice is you let the minority have their say even as the majority have their way. But the way we are moving in this house is very dictatorial, and we are muzzling members' voices. And sometimes we have very valid issues that we want to raise. We will still have reached the same 
uh, conclusion, but having heard our voices, Madam Speaker, the concern I wanted to raise, which I was not given a chance, is that I have forwarded amendments to two of the bills that were subject of that motion. They were subject of that motion, and I'm understanding, I'm, I'm on a point of order, so the majority so leader order. cannot overrule my, my, my point of order. So, Madam Speaker, I have brought amendments to the climate bill, which I've forwarded. I have brought amendments to the food and feed bill, which I've forwarded. So, all I wanted to know, because we are moving at supersonic speed, has the House received my amendments? And are we going to prosecute my amendments this morning? From the history of this house, you know I rarely come to this house in the morning. But I'm here from the moment you started because I take my work seriously, especially at the committee of the whole house. And I want to correct the majority leader. It's not third reading. It's committee of the whole house. And I want to say, therefore, Madam Speaker, that when we are moving at supersonic speed, and we are not giving members a chance to prosecute order, their own amendment. Leader. But I'm on, a, I'm on a point of order. How can you overrule my point of order? Or we, no longer, we, no longer have, we no longer have roots in this house. If I'm on a point of order, really? if I'm on a point of order, you do not overrule my point of order, you Madam Speaker. You point of order, I thought. Yeah, but that, that you should not then allow him to stand while I'm still standing. It's unprocedural. Madam Speaker... Be very fair. It's very unprocedural. Okay, I will Lili, sit down and I follow statement. the rules, but I sit down when you tell me my time is done. But it doesn't stand when I'm standing, whether it's majority leader or heavenly leader. I will not stand when I'm standing. Thank you, Madam Thank Speaker. Thank you. You've made your point. You'll get a chance. Let us proceed. Yes, majority leader. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And I choose to ignore the unnecessary tirade from uh, Honorable Emilio Diambo, who has her own issues, which have nothing to do with the House or the leader of majority. She can deal with her issues at home, not here. Honorable Speaker, our standing orders, standing Yes, from that video of Emilio Diambo's submissions, and also from the video where Kimani Chungwa seems to be responding to what Milo Diambo said, you can tell that the house is pretty divided between the majority and the minority faction. There was a time Kimani Chungo was busy attacking Uhuru Mugia Kenyatta. I remember that, that day, Milo Diambo rose up and mentioned or pronounced unprintable words, words that were defining that kind of scenario that she was going through. She used abusive language to mean something. So, ladies and gentlemen, Kindly tell us below the comment section there. Do you think this parliament is a uh, one-sided Amani parliament ambao inafanya tukazi? Ladies and gentlemen, kindly tell us below the comment section there whether you think the remarks by Emilio Diambo ni iko sawa kilingana wewe na kama si iko sawa iko sawa wapi hapa haiko sawa. Just tell us below the comment section there. And also I'd like to urge anybody who has not subscribed to this channel to please consider sub subscribing to your Leno TV. And also I'd like to urge you to stay safe and stay blessed until you catch up again in our next analysis.